Did you kiss her again? Relationships are so fragile. It just takes one thing, one tiny little offense, and it can snowball on you. Look, Brooke, I need you to listen to me, okay? I understand that you didn't know about the kiss, and I'm sorry for springing on you, but I meant what I said. It didn't mean anything. A kiss always means something. Okay, maybe you're right, but it wasn't a romantic moment, and you would know that. If what, I was there? As you so sweetly pointed out at the party, the party that I threw for you, I wasn't there, was I? And if that snowball starts to pick up speed, God forbid, you better tuck and go, my friend. Is it impossible for you to forgive me? I forgive you. For what? For sleeping with Chris Keller. And bam! It shines off the apple. And you know what, Lucas? I loved you for that. You had such grace in that moment that I fell in love with you all over again. I, just, I can't believe that you would use it now as a bargaining chip. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I just, of course, I may have tormented her from time to time, but I need you to trust me and believe me when I tell you that my heart is with you. And what a part of me feels like ever since we got back together. You've just been waiting, waiting to push me away. Oh, great. You kiss Peyton again, and I'm pushing you away. But honest to God, that's what I thought marriage was all about. I love you, Brooke. I don't know how else to say it. How about how you show it? So much so that by the end of that relationship, I honestly don't know who I hated more, her or me. I am not pushing you away, Lucas. I am holding on for dear life, but I need you to need me back. Okay, why wouldn't you tell me about the kiss? And why didn't you call me while you were away? And why won't you ever just let me all the way in? I used to sit around and wonder why our friends weren't trying to destroy each other like we were. I love you, Lucas. And I probably always will. But we go days without having a meaningful conversation. And I used to miss you so much when that happened. But it never seemed Bottom line, the couples that are truly right for each other wade through the same crap as everybody else, but the big difference is they don't let it take them down. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. One of those two people will stand up and fight for that relationship every time if it's right, and they're real lucky. Why don't we say something? You told me to fight for you, and I did. But you never fought for me. And I'm not going to. Okay. I guess I was wrong. I'm not the guy for you, Brooke Davis.